Some sleepy players woke up in week five, while some players and teams continued to dominate. All this and more in this week's NFL players that are going up in football card value on eBay. So let's dig in. Number one, still Brock Purdy. In a primetime matchup against the league's best passing defense, Brock Purdy lit up the scoreboard with 252 yards, four touchdowns, and a passer rating of 144.4. The 49ers march on with the Eagles as one of just two teams left undefeated. And check out his score, which is typically a devalued card, kind of considered a mid to lower tier set, but in a silver variation PSA 10 slab, that card for Brock Purdy now climbing up to $455 in auction yesterday. That's compared to the previous buy it now of $325 Friday, September 29th. Brock Purdy's base Donruss rated rookie Raw selling for $15 in a buy it now today, Monday, October 9th. Compared to finding that card back in the summer for just a dollar or the base optic rated rookie raw for $5. His base prism PSA 10 still has the most sales in the past 30 days, and the most sales for his graded market over the past 180 days with a new trend of $230. That's up 88% over the past six months. Our most recent transaction is a buy it now for $280 on that base prism PSA 10. Now has a population of 1,518 with a PSA 10 hit rate of about 60% so that raw to PSA 10 conversion is pretty solid. His largest transaction from game night was this flawless 1 out of 5 rookie dual patch auto jersey tag $15,100 from 55 bids. You also had this flawless sell as well, another dual patch auto RPA 02 out of 25. This one closed for $10,200. And it's just such a shame that they put plain color napkin patches in a beautiful card like this. Number two, Devon Achan. In a game that had some of the biggest explosive plays we'll see this NFL season, the Dolphins smashed the Giants as we predicted. The Dolphins moved to 4-1 and one, while the Giants dropped to 1-4. and four. The Dolphins rookie running back Achan finished the contest with 151 rushing yards on just 11 carries. That's a 13.7 yards per carry average. He's got one of the highest, if not the highest, efficiency ratings in the NFL. He managed 96 of those yards after first contact and broke three missed tackles um, or, or broke three tackles, making him a top three running back in the league through five weeks. And we have most of his largest sales coming in the past 24 to 48 hours in the past week. So let's look at some of these like this Panini Black RPA 101 NFL Shield. This was ultimately sold for $1,500 in a buy it now. You have another Panini Black selling yesterday on game day. This is an RPA numbered out of 15 with some nice patch work here, dual patch. It's a uh, classified as a silver Sharpie rookie auto ruby out of 15. First off the line, Panini Black ultimately sold for $500 and buy it now. Someone also purchased his gold mosaic numbered out of 10. Right now, very popular set and gold, a very, very popular parallel. This ultimately sold for $350. It was listed for $500. The Mosaic Rookie Autos for A-Chan in uh, our Redemptions. This one is white, numbered out of $25. That was listed for $250. Sold for $225. So getting a really nice premium on a Rookie Auto from Mosaic out of $25 and a Redemption. So you do not get that instant gratification on this card at all. You had this car just sell as I started recording this video. It's a blue no huddle disco mosaic rookie out of 75 that sold for $80. This card compared to the 2022, 2021, or 2020 mosaic variations for a player um, with his similar situation. Like if you were to look at Travis Etienne or if you were to go back to 2020 and even look at this card for like a Justin Jefferson. This card is not going to even go for this price 
But due to the limited availability, limited supply of Devon, HN rookie cards, we have some pretty crazy prices. Generally speaking, you can still see those NFL debut horizontally formatted cards, even in the more uncommon parallels, still selling for a fraction of the vertically formatted ones. Like this blue reactive here, horizontally formatted NFL debut keeps it down to $18. So just an insane amount of buy it now sold transactions in the past 24 hours for Devon Achan. That's what puts him up here at number two this week after week five in players going up in rookie card value. Look at this. Another redemption here. A rookie autograph from Mosaic. Non-serial numbered. $115. I think this is one of the highest I've seen besides maybe Justin Jefferson. Rookie Mosaic Auto for skill position players. Now, real quick, if you're new here, welcome to the Football Card Quest. My name is Andy. We are part of the NoOffseason.com Sports Card Network, and we specifically focus on football cards, and we dig through all of player performance and how that correlates to the eBay and other football card markets. So make sure you are subscribed and stay tuned to the end of this video because I've got a lot of honorable mentions and some utilization takeaways that are going to be super important to understand moving forward. Now back to the action. Now staying with the Miami Dolphins for a second, but not talking about Tua this week. I want to talk about Tyreek Hill because he just had another monster day. He finished with eight catches on nine targets for 181 yards and a touchdown despite Tua's average depth of target just over six yards downfield. Field. Tua also had a brutal pick six that gave the Giants their only touchdown of the game. So he's not going to be featured in today's video. But Tyreek Hill, HNR, you can see the incredible prices we have on 2016 rookie Tyreek Hill product. Like his first year optic, that is the rookie, but not the rated rookie. That in PSA 10 conditions up 51% over the past 180 days to a new trend of 157 but even more impressive to me is his prism here from 2016 that's up to a new trend of 203 dollars uh there's an auction that ended yesterday for 160 but there's also a buy it now back on october 1st for 200 one on september 27th for 230 this auction Got sniped last night, uh, 48 bids there from K-Town Sports Cards. His raw optic hollow closing an auction yesterday for $36. A raw optic base card, non-hollow, sold for $40 in a buy it now yesterday. Some of his largest transactions in the past 90 days came before the game even took place yesterday, as obviously he's coming off this incredible start to the season here. Uh, it cooled down a little bit there in week four, but back at it this past week. Check out this uh, tie-dye RPA 23 out of 25, PSA 9, closed for $295 in auction. Or you have a rookie optic auto here, BGS 9.5 auto 10, that sold in a best offer accepted format auction that uh, this card is numbered out of 99 as well. This sold for 230 on the 7th. And then you have this interesting card. It's a Panini Instant Black Parallel printed one of one on the card. Uh, PSA 9. This sold for $379 on the 6th. <clears throat> Number four, Jared Goff. Speaking of the 2016 draft class, the... <clears throat> the win brings the Lions to 4-1, and one, and Goff put together an excellent day in terms of efficiency and execution. Goff finished 20 of 28 with 236 passing yards, three touchdowns, and no interceptions. On first review, he made two big-time throws and no turnover-worthy plays, and you could see that 2016 prism, silver standard out of the box, for all rookies that year, PSA 10 is edging out Tyree Kill right now. And Jared Goff being a former number one overall draft pick from 2016 means he has a lot more cards than Tyree Kill. According to TCDB.com, Jared Thomas Goff has 1,870 different rookie cards from 2016. Whereas Tyree Kill has just 264. So when you look at the PSA pop counts and you come here in our Keep em app and you see that there's 513 PSA 10s, a fairly low PSA 10 hit rate. And you can see these buy it nows right now for Jared Goff right around that $200, $220 range. 
And then you look at the PSA 10 rate and population count for the Tyree kill, the same card, 444 total PSA 10 population, very close to that of Goff, but at a 39% hit rate again. So very similar hit rate as well. But you could see that base Donners and that base optic for Goff, and that has a rated rookie logo. Those cards are up almost 50% over the past six months. One of Goff's largest transactions of the past 90 days came on October 1st, but as a 2016 flawless, number 10 out of 20 with a nice patch and an on-card rookie auto, sold for $560. Nothing compared to what the Brock Purdy cards are selling for from 2022 flawless, but still an impressive transaction nonetheless. The Lions are sitting on top of the NFC North now at 4-1. A lot of buy it now solds for Jared Goff in the past 24 hours, which is one of the primary reasons why I've got him up here. You've got a variety of different cards selling from Patch Origins for about 10 bucks, Prism Draft Picks, even look at that baby face for just a few dollars, or even his raw base Donruss uh, press proof here for five dollars. These are uh, just a a ton of buy it now sold transactions, even the PSA 9 prisms for about 50 bucks in auction. You had an orange numbered out of 199 PSA 10 yesterday, closing auction for 210. And what I would consider as his gold standard premium card here, that base prism for $32 plus a dollar shipping yesterday in auction, not too bad. Number five is going to be Sam Laporta because Laporta gets two touchdowns in this game with Goff, one for 31 yards, and he's now a top three tight end in production per game. As an early second round rookie with limited supply, his prices have significantly gone up. I was able to personally flip a couple of his mosaic rook base rookie cards on COMC that I pointed out yesterday in our crunch time stream. You also have stuff like non-serial numbered rookie scripts from Mosaic going for $90. Buy it now sold today, October 9th. As you can see here in these buy it now solds from this morning, you have a couple base optics selling for $10, $7. Incredibly impressive transactions. Some Prism draft picks, another popular set for them right now. And those cracked ice parallels. Here's a lot of two base mosaics for nine. You have a lot of those mosaics selling for Sam Laporta. His largest transactions, once again, are coming from newly released Panini Black. Here we have a Laporta Ruby first off the line out of 10. Sold for $650. Buy it now yesterday on game day. This doesn't even have a rookie auto, folks. Yeah, this plates and patches numbered out of 75 with a sticker rookie auto. Plates and patches typically not the most popular set. In fact, it's le less popular than sets like Select and Mosaic. This sold for $394.50 as one of the premium RPAs on the market for Laporta right now. Another plates and patches out of 10. This one's green. It's not quite color match, but still really cool looking patch there in that card. This one sold for $225. It was the best offer accepted, marked down from $300. And what about this transaction from game day? Probably one of his most impressive to me because this is from Score. And this is a press proof rookie auto. It is blue. It is numbered out of 35. It was listed for $150. This is a college uniform card that with the Lions logo, it sold for 125 Or even a Mosaic Rookie Auto Red out of 199 that sold on game day, marked down from $110 to $95. These are up big time compared to what the bottom is for this set and the draft class at just around $10 to $15 for this card. Hey, real quick, it's your boy AC. If you want to get access to that web app you just saw, tracking all those graded football card sales with the charts and the comparisons and this and that, plus you want to get access to our Discord server, potentially one-on-one -on -one access to me to help ignite and kickstart and accelerate your learning curve and making those laser-focused football card investments and selling football cards effectively and maximizing your return on investment, then check out 
footballcardquest.com in the description below this video. All right, back to the action. Number six, Jalen Hurts. The Eagles offense got the job done once again, thanks to Jalen Hurts rushing 15 times for 72 yards, combined with his arm passing to A.J. Brown, 127 yards, and Dallas Goddard, who woke up with 117 yards. Both of these guys went over the century mark. Jalen Hurts threw for 303 yards with one touchdown, a patented brotherly shove into the end zone for a rushing touchdown as well. They continue their hot start to the season and remain undefeated at 5-0 and oh, and say what you will about him but his prices are slowly starting to climb up we're seeing a lot of appreciation in these mosaic cards now climbing up to that hundred dollar price point even some of these nfl debuts of course we're looking at psa 10 conditions here and we're looking at trends over the past 30 days for jalen hurts his optic hollow psa 10 from 2020 was listed for $325, sold this morning for $310. What about this BGS 9.5 from 2020? It's from Gold Standard. It's an RPA out of 99 with a couple plain color patches here. And it's ultimately just a rookie auto card out of 99. BGS 9.5 was listed for $1,300. And we don't know what it's sold for because it looks like that listing is actually missing of some kind. So hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys have ever seen anything like this or why this listing wouldn't show up. Needless to say, I'm finding a lot of big transactions on the Jalen Hurts rookie market. Here, here you have another select tie-dye PSA 9, 18 out of 25. It's a rookie auto, $1,500 buy it now look at all these buy it now sold uh just today here monday day after game day um, a lot of these mosaics uh look at that raw optic preview red and green 42 dollars in auction uh it's pretty impressive man what about this psa 10 red red zone here this is from score though again score number 20 out of 20 so you get that book in match this is 125 dollars sold buy it now uh, you got a t just hundreds of Jalen Hurts sold transactions in the past 24 hours. Number seven, Brees Hall. Jets running back Brees Hall no longer on a snap count is back up to racking up explosive gains, carrying the ball 22 times for 177 yards and a touchdown to go along with three receptions for 17 yards. Hall forced three missed tackles and averaged three yards after contact per rushing attempt. Check out the 30% increase over the past six months in his base Donruss PSA 10, getting up to a respectable $35. Well, here's that Panini Mosaic Reactive Orange up to a new trend of almost 50. The Silver Prism Rookie Auto, always a gold standard chase card for collectors, hobbyists, investors, dealers alike. You got the PSA 10 up now to a trend of almost $200, kind of bouncing around. Card's fairly rare with only a population of 41. Had some nice RPAs flying off the shelf today, including this Panini 1 numbered out of 199. Pretty much sold for right what it was listed at. It was listed at $69.99. Sold for $65. Nice horizontally formatted RPA from what I consider like a, a mid-tier RPA set. But great example of why release dates matter. You saw those rookie class solds from uh, Panini Mosaic. And look at the Brees Hall solds. Even that uh, silver disco no huddle variation here. Brees Hall vertically formatted too. Still just a $5 card, but it did sell in a buy it now today. A lot of sold transactions for cards in this range, including an encased signatures out of 99 here, sold for 50. And this Panini Spectra out of 60, RPA horizontally formatted $40 by it now. His base raw cards do sell, but those red, white, and blues, for example, only selling for eight to nine dollars. Now, if you get that in a PSA 10 condition, now you can squeeze about 50 or 60 with a little bit of upside there. And you look at this Brees Hall Panini Instant sold for nine dollars. There with Brees Hall diving in for a score over a couple Steelers defenders. Another variation of the instant selling for nine, even another. It actually looks like they made about four or five different variations of Brees Hall instants last year. All selling for $9 here appears to be from that same seller. 
These are all October 9th sold items. Here's a nice immaculate today, 7 out of 18, $150 in auction. Buy it now sold this morning from Contenders Base, Rookie of the Year, out of 99. Does have the RC Shield, and this ultimately sold for 64. So a guy with just a ton of different rookie cards getting a ton of sold volume love here in the past 24 hours. Check out this beautiful Spectra horizontally formatted out of uh, four, that laundry tag there with all those weird laundry symbols and that sticker Rookie Auto, some cool penmanship. That sold for $350. Buy it now. The Brees Hall emoji, the 100 emojis, sold raw this morning for $39 in auction. Number eight is going to be a combo. It's gonna be a stack, baby. It's gonna be Justin Fields and DJ Moore. The once 0-4 team widely expected to secure the first two picks of the 2024 draft got their first win in almost a year on Thursday night football. That's right, the Bears cut through the commander's defense like a hot knife through butter in the first half. While wide receiver DJ Moore catching all five of his first half targets for 137 yards and two touchdowns, Khalil Herbert added 76 yards on nine carries on top of that, sprinkling salt into wounds the commanders never would have expected to suffer during the first 30 minutes of the game against the Bears. DJ Moore added 93 receiving yards and another score in the second half to put the game away to get the hat trick. And we're going to look at the price increases between uh, Justin Fields and DJ Moore. As you can see, the bottom for Justin Fields hit just before this game, October 1st. Uh, you can see the orange laser prism PSA 10, a very popular parallel for Bears players, specific, specifically Justin Fields. That bottom was 100, and now we have an auction that ends Monday morning when they played Thursday night. That card now going for 142.50. So you can see how it's up almost 50% from those couple transactions. So definitely digging his way out of a hole there. Overall, still when you look at the whole trends from 180 days, still down quite a bit, right? But if we were to just look at now the last 30 days, which a lot of these are reflecting uh, purchases and sales that have happened since Thursday Night Football, you can see where... For example, this auction on Friday night of a Phoenix Fireburst closed for $100, followed by a Buy It Now that was $85. And you can see just the night before, just the day before, that card was as low as $27. So you can see how a quarterback with the market of the Chicago Bears, as young as he is, as athletic as he is, uh, when he played that incredible with the deep ball, um, the, there were some definitely some busted coverages by the commanders. So they definitely helped him, but this was a huge win for Justin Fields. We've had a couple big time Justin Fields sales since then, like this National Treasures rookie patch auto out of 99, closed for $6,500 in auction on Friday. Or what about this card that sold from Thursday night's game, 2020 Select? Gold Redemption, number 10 out of 10, PSA 10. It was listed for five grand and sold for $3,300, best offer accepted. You have another big time gold optic, numbered out of 10, PSA 10, sold transaction here. It was listed for four grand, sold for three grand, buy it now. DJ Moore had several of his largest transactions as well from this game, including this gold prism auto, one out of 10, Serial numbering, it was listed for $650, sold for $500, buy it now. That was from game night. Well, what about this DJ Moore rookie auto out of 15? This is from Optic Elite Series. It is PSA 10 condition. It was listed for $250 and sold for $220. And then you have the famed rookie ticket auto here. This one is numbered 02 out of 12. It's the rookie ticket stub, so it's numbered to his jersey number. And you have an on-card rookie auto. This was listed for $225, sold game night for $180. With a very small graded market, like low population counts on PSA for his cards, 
Um, it's hard to find data, but we do have a few here. Just looking at his base prism PSA 10 over the past six months, that's up 18%. And the rookie ticket auto here, PSA 10, up 41%. We had a buy it now. You see what I'm saying? Like the, the last good transactions we have are from August on this card. But you can see going back to April 27th here, this card was $62 in an auction only for it to, to go up to ruling that silver one out going up to $150 July 8th and $180 August 7th. So I've got to think if one was listed out there now, it would sell, but there's only a population of 36 PSA 10s in the database. 78% PSA 10 hit rate as well. Uh, low sample size, so it's hard to uh, kind of take that as the truth. You, you kind of have to take that with a grain of salt. All right, so number nine, Travis ETN. The Jaguars beat the Buffalo Bills 25 to 20 to move to three and two on the years, dropping the Bills to three and two as well. The Bills offense, this was slow and sluggish early on. Another London game here while the Jags moved pretty easily. The Jags moved the ball uh, with Trevor Lawrence very easily early on. He, he ultimately finished the game 25 37 for 315 yards and a touchdown. The issue for him and why he's not on here was that he turned the ball over on sacks, fumbling twice when they were in scoring territory. Travis Etienne, however, had a monster day of 26 carries, 136 yards, and two touchdowns on the ground with 5.2 yards per carry on that massive workload, a breakaway run of 35 yards, and four receptions for 48 receiving yards, giving Christian McCaffrey a run for his money. Um, he is now averaging 108 total yards per game through five weeks. That puts him on pace for 1,836 rushing yards for the year, potentially being the rushing yards leader in the NFL. He's in elite category right now, and you can see it reflected in his sold data on eBay. People paying full price, for example, this immaculate out of 99 triple uh, color patch RPA on-card rookie auto sold for $125 buy it now so we do have quantities of sold volume in the hundreds in the past 24 hours for ETN but we also have some very significant ones we have a lot of prices going up this national treasures booklet out of 99 booklets typically aren't nearly as popular as just a vertically formatted card with well, this one closed for 103 on Monday morning a lot of those base cards from Prism, Mosaic, those are still going to sell between two and five dollars. Die cuts, lesser popular cards like Scores, going to be still dollar bin cards on a guy who has thousands of different rookie card with his first draft, draft capital, and being from the 2021 class. Uh, something like this is interesting because the optic rated rookie. Purple Velocity, still not serial numbered, but you got a nice design. The, the Velocity design is very popular. This sold for $18. Buy it now. Just another indicator of the ETN hype and how prices are definitely going up here. What about a PSA 8? Someone actually went out, bought this PSA 8 in an auction, 12 bids. This is a rookie auto, neon blue out of 99, went for $47. And so we are seeing the massive quantity of sold volume spike for ETN. It's not necessarily leading some massive price increases, or at least not on his high-end stuff. Because if you look at his highest sold transactions the past 90 days, this is the only one that really pops out. And this was sold October 2nd. This is from weeks week four's games. Uh, this is a National Treasures numbered out of two with the Nike patch, BGS 8. So not a great grade on the card. Did get a 10 on the auto. This sold for $381. All right, now before I give you guys number 10, it was kind of a toss-up this week. There were several guys could be number 10 this week that have seen a spike in the sold volume. Maybe not necessarily a large price increase, but a lot of these guys already had high prices coming in. So I look at guys like Jamar Chase, who really bounced back. Joe Burrow woke up. We're going to talk about him. Cooper Cup, who bounced back, finally back in the game. Desmond Ritter, Gardner Minshew. 
um, George Pickens, who is actually who I put at number 10. Um, or you could talk about some of the players on the Saints. Um, or we could talk about Zay Flowers on the Ravens, but that wasn't really quite there. Ultimately, I'm giving the number 10 spot to George Pickens. Make sure you guys stick around, though, because I want to talk about those other big takeaways that I mentioned, some of these takeaways, utilization takeaways that are very interesting, like what's going on right now with Puka and what's going on right now with the Bengals and the Falcons um, and the Colts and, and, and the Saints and the Patriots, importantly. And they're definitely an important topic of conversation and the, the Ravens as well. So stay tuned. Number 10, George Pickens. In a turnover-filled game, the Pittsburgh Steelers outlasted the Baltimore Ravens in Week 5 to leave both teams now 3-2 and two on the year. The Steelers finding a way to stay relevant. Then they scored a long touchdown from Kenny Pickett to George Pickens to close out the win. Overall, Pickens went 6 receptions for 130 yards and a touchdown. Plus, he plays for the Steelers. Let's be real here, guys. And he makes catches like this. Gold snapshots from Select here. Also has that uh, laser slash velocity finish to it. And this card sold for $800 in auction yesterday. It is in PSA 10 condition. Pickens' prices on average are significantly higher than even Brees Hall. Not there at, uh, at, at Garrett Wilson levels yet, but um, he may get there. He's been pretty close, man. Check out this Flawless that sold this morning. It's a dual patch rookie auto. It's numbered out of 10. It was listed for 350 sold for 250 what about this Illusions numbered out of 299 plain color patch rookie auto? Do you have that Panini seal sticker at the top of the top loader? So must have been redeemed. And this sold for $40 in a buy now marked down from $60. Optic Hollows Raw selling about $10. The Phoenix RPA rookie auto here out of $50. Not getting much love. Or this seller just sold themselves short selling this card for $20. I mean, that's that's a snipe when you consider the overall prices of Pickens market. Like, I mean, look at this encased out of 15, got the laundry tags in there, part of the Steelers logo. This thing sold for $300, buy it now today. So yeah, there has been several hundred sold transactions. A lot of them buy it now in the last 24 hours for Pickens. So that's ultimately why he's made it up here, number 10 for the day. Check out this uh, Mosaic Sparkle, $25 in auction last night. Honorable mention, Cooper Cup, man, got back into the Rams lineup, immediately went back to being Matthew Stafford's favorite target. He led the team with total uh, 12 total targets that turned into eight receptions for 118 yards, got right back to work. Um, he didn't keep Puka either from being a key piece of the offense, as Puka was able to also get 11 targets that went for 7 and 71 yards and a touchdown. And he actually missed a couple targets that came his way that could have made his day uh, over 100 yards as well. So interesting, right? Interesting. You could see uh, some of these Cooper Cup souls starting to pick back up. The buy it now is starting to pick back up. Now he's back in the game, playing again. He's a former number one overall wide receiver, you know, in fantasy and stuff. Uh, here's this card sold by Grabos. So shout out to Grabos. You guys know you can use uh, uh, promo code STRATEGY23. To strategy 2023 to get 10% off any purchase at graybos.co. And you can actually get that card for a little bit cheaper than you could on eBay here. Um, but yeah, it was a, a rare edition optic auto from Cooper Cup slabbed up, sold for $200. Buy it now. Honorable mention for Joe Burrow and the Bengals getting a much needed win here in Arizona. Much needed win. This moves the Cardinals to two and three on the season. Excuse me. It moves the Bengals to two and three on the season. The Cardinals still with that one win. The Bengals offense seemingly got back on track in this game thanks to a heavy reliance on star wide receiver Jamar Chase. So he's a big honorable mention here. Uh, he got 19 targets thrown his way, leading to 15 receptions for 192 yards and three touchdowns. 
Joe Burrow also had his most efficient game of the year, going 36 of 46 for 317 yards, guys, and three touchdowns. He ranked 32nd in the league in completion percentage before coming into this game at 57% after failing to exceed 66% completion rate any of his previous games this season. He completed 78% of his passes in this game, which should help him climb up from the bottom of those rankings after this week. So you can see we're still in the hole. But overall, starting to make some positive progress here. Here's a Sunday night, 187.50 on the Prism PSA 10. Snapping back from that low of 140. You can see those 140s that uh, that went off there just a few days before the game. And now we are back up to 187. So uh, that definitely means you want to keep an eye on potential uh, Jamar Chase listings as well because those are going to be back up. I noticed a ton of Jamar Chase sold volume. I was trying to find some Jamar Chase stuff that I could potentially get into, but it, it's really tough. Um, unless you're getting like base Donruss PSA 10 for 30, that's not bad, but it's just, it's one card in a sea of thousands for Jamar Chase, thousands for Jamar Chase. You, you know, you saw Tyreek Hill at 250 and Joe Burrow for that matter as well has about the same amount of different rookie cards as Jamar Chase has and Joe Burrow's from the 2020 class. So you can see Jamar Anthony Chase here has 4,422 different rookie cards. Just to put that in perspective from earlier in the stream when we highlighted how many cards both Jared Goff and Tyreek Hill have. Stuff like this really illustrate how high the Jamar Chase prices are compared to the rest of the draft class. So here we have a bronze Donruss rated rookie non-serial numbered is a redemption because of uh, the just it, 2021 was a weird year with COVID and a lot of players didn't actually go to the premier event and Panini hosted events to sign their autographs and they had such a timeline to get them back and so a lot of those ended up being redemptions for guys like Jamar Chase, Kyle Pitts, um, uh, Justin Fields as well just as three primary first round draft examples. Uh, this card though sold just two days ago in auction 162.52 uh, that's even before before game time, so you can see, wow, that's um, that's really impressive. So his rookie auto stuff in super high demand. All right, guys, a couple more big time takeaways from this past weekend. Uh, one of those is Desmond Ritter, man. He had a decent little spike on eBay and sold volume. Uh, he actually threw the ball 37 times this week for 329 yards and a touchdown. No picks, no fumbles. He diced up a very competitive Houston Texans team. Actually got the win. Got the win over the Texans. A very close game. Uh, Kyle Pitts, Drake London, Bijan Robinson, and John U. Smith all got involved. All got over 10 fantasy points. None of them really went nuclear. Uh, Bijan continues to just absolutely amaze people with his ball skills. Making a couple one-handed catches. Absolutely incredible. Uh, the way he positions his body, much like Jamar Chase, to continue running after the catch, regardless of where the ball's coming. It's just wild, man, wild. Um, what's wild also is because of how good his skills are, is the fact that Tyler Algier still out-carried him, 17 carries to Bijan's 15, when Bijan is clearly the better player, but Atlanta comes away with the win here. Bijan being a rookie, I mean, his sold uh, average resale prices are very high. You definitely, if you pull him out of a pack, want to consider selling him ASAP because even those base cards will sell for 5 to 10 right now when a year from now they're probably a dollar, you know, uh, and then they just scale up from there depending on how rare they are. Um, another honorable mention, Gardner Minshew, man. He's going to be the starting quarterback for the Colts for at least the next month, most likely, because of an AC joint sprain to Anthony Richardson's. Actually, it was, it was a sh throwing shoulder. He got taken down pretty hard on a run play. Anthony Richardson, you know, running the ball, went down to the ground pretty hard, had to leave. Um, it looks like a grade three AC joint sprain. Uh, and Gardner Minshew came in. I saw some interesting sold data from him. You guys saw me pull the Gardner Minshew 
on the stream actually took the photos and listed it already a silver prism rookie auto uh, because Gardner Minshew led the Colts to a decisive win here over their division rivals Tennessee Titans this moves the Colts to three and two on the season and they're tied for first in the AFC South with the Jags Minshew finished the game going 11 for 14 112.8 passer rating and although Jonathan Taylor returned in this game Zach Moss melted faces, guys. Nobody really expected this. Some people accidentally started him. Shout out to my man, Filthy Collector. Um, Zach Moss took 23 carries to Jonathan Taylor's six and finished the game with 165 rushing yards, 7.2 yards per carry, a breakaway run of 56 yards and two touchdowns. You got a rookie spotlight on the other side of the ball on Ty J Spears. Got to pay attention to this utilization. He outproduced Derrick Henry on just about half the touches. And he was more involved in the receiving game as well. So it's starting to look more and more like a 50-50 split situation going forward. Because Tajay Spears is absolutely earning and demanding those opportunities. Um, honorable mention to the, sh to, the, to the Saints because they shut out the New England Patriots. Bill Belichick very much on the hot seat for his coaching job. Um, this was on the road in New England. This moves the Saints to 3-2. and two. And the Patriots dropped to one and four. The Saints dominated the first half. You got a pick six by the Honey Badger. Shout out to my man Carter the Power. We'll be live tomorrow afternoon, by the way. 27-yard uh, pick six by the Honey Badger. Things continue to go badly for the Patriots with Mac Jones under center. He only went 12 of 22 for 110 yards through the pick six. He also fumbled on a bad pitch to running back Ramadre Stevenson. His second interception on the day was not his fault. The ball bouncing, uh, with the ball bouncing to Saints linebacker Pete Werner after a big hit on Ty Montgomery. Bailey Zappi didn't do much better. Replaced him. Went three of nine for 22 yards. Um, another spotlight, rookie spotlight. Another game. We go to that device, decisive uh, Steelers victory over the Ravens. But um, my my takeaway for the Ravens is that they continue to feed the ball to Zay Flowers. It's only a matter of time before this guy absolutely erupts. There was a couple very close, just massive deep plays to Zay Flowers. A little bit of maybe miscommunication there, just slightly off on the timing uh, between Lamar and Zay. But he ultimately saw 11 targets, a lot of air yards. He caught five of them for 73 yards. So imagine if he caught 10 of them for 160. Now we'd be talking about him in the top 10 category. Um Joey Porter Jr., shout out to the rookie defensive back for the Steelers who made the, literally probably the play of his career, proving too strong for Odell Beckham Jr. on a throw into the end zone, picked it off. Uh, an incompletion would have allowed the Ravens to take a five-point lead on a field goal, but the interception gave the Steelers more life, and they did not look back. That's when that George Pickens touchdown came shortly after that. All right, guys. Uh, those are the major takeaways and top 10 players going up after week five. We have a uh, interesting game tonight with the Raiders. And Jimmy Garoppolo, Devontae Adams is going to be a game time decision. Uh, hosting the Packers, man. We get to see some Jordan Love in prime time. Very exciting, man. Like the Jordan Love and the rookies, Jaden Reed and Luke Musgrave. You also, I think, potentially get Aaron Jones back tonight. It's going to be an exciting matchup, guys. Good luck out there. I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Peace.